parent yesterday about yes. GMO food labeling. She said it was very positive. Um, do you plan to explore mandatory GMO labeling in the future now that you've spoken with her? Well, Rachel and I had a great meeting. She is an incredibly impressive young woman and a great role model for other young women and young young people that are interested in getting involved in issues. Uh, we had a long meeting. We discussed a lot of things. Uh, I explained to her that uh, we, Health Canada labels uh, products based on health information and the health and scientific evidence uh, currently is that there's no health impact from GMOs. So I explained to her the rationale that, that we use at Health Canada. She accepted that. Uh, and I also, as next step, set up a meeting with her and those at Health Canada, the scientists and researchers that make these decisions, so that she can give them some of the information she gave me. She brought a lot of information on research that she has uh, access to and polling and things that other countries are doing. So uh, we're going to facilitate that meeting for her. What uh, sort of results do you anticipate coming out of those meetings with Health Canada scientists? Will you be involved at any point in that? No, I won't. I will allow her to to meet with them. They're the ones that do, uh, you know, review the uh, review the material that comes in from uh, companies that uh, are 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 doing uh, genetically modified products or looking for for uh, um, you know whether it's not you know whether. Whether it's a health claim or not, you know, they, we, we do the analysis when companies uh, uh, put forward their, their research. So she had questions about that. I think the best thing for her to do is to pose those questions directly to the researchers and scientists that make those decisions. Minister, as a former 